Yeah, I think Emilian is on your side. I can. Anyhow, okay, good morning. It's uh, 27th of October. Nice to be back. I haven't been on the stand up in a little while. Uh, first, uh, to the team, any announcements from the team? Morning, everyone. Any announcements from the team? Okay. Uh, somebody's, I think, Emilian, you're I'm just going to meet him. I can't meet him. Let's go to Emilian. Great. So let's jump straight into the stand up. How's everyone doing? That's usually regular format. Um, what we've been working on, or what we got done, what we're planning today, and any blockers. So let's just go around the room. So who wants to go first? Hello, guys, can we, uh, so, okay, I'm just gonna call on people then. Uh, so we'll go to Nahom, Johannes, Patrick. So a regular stand-up format. What you've been working on, any blockers, and what you plan to get done today. Jane Rose? Guys, what's, what's going on today? People are here, but no one's available. So we'll go for Johannes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this week, uh, challenge was uh, nice, especially the smart contract one. Uh, I tried to set up on the previous day, and uh, uh, today I'm going to read and, uh, about the, the one uh, mobile app. Uh, the blocker I, I face is actually uh, uh, with the help of my friends. I fix it. Uh, uh, it is good. It is going uh, well uh, today. Uh, I try to uh, update myself on the mobile app. Thank you. Okay. Any blockers, Johannes? That was, but I fixed it with the help of uh, the, my friend and uh, I post on the Slack and uh, already mm -hmm. I fixed it. And how are you feeling about smart contracts in general, this sort of approach? Is it something new for you? Do you what's yeah. your level of uh, comfort with the yeah, work that it, you're doing? Yeah, it is new for me, especially the uh, the mobile app. And the, But on the I think the last... Uh, Challenge. I think for week seven or week five, I have a small uh, bit of knowledge on the smart contract. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going well. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Jane Rose, go ahead. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so yesterday, I was trying a short course on the writing smart contracts on the Crypto Zombies course. And I also followed the project that was in the challenge document. I was able to write the smart contract, but I've not deployed or tested it yet. My blocker has been trying to fund my account. And um, that's what I'm trying on, trying to work on right now. So yeah, thank you. Okay. And level of comfort with this area of work, with this type of... Uh with Web3, with smart contracts? Uh, it's my first time with smart contracts, but mm -hmm. at least Web3, the previous projects gave me a background, a good background in Web3. <clears throat> it's just okay. the smart contracts that's new. Okay. Great. Uh, who wants to go next? Let's just get hands going up. We're going to go around the room. Uh, Margaret, go ahead. Um, good morning. 
Good morning. So, yesterday, I was looking into a lot of things. Um, so I, I think I settled for I settled uh, for settled to using uh, Remix as my IDE, but I faced some blockers trying to connect um, Remix to my GitHub, and I also tried to look at um, the App Inventor that was shared. Uh, since um, this is still, uh, I'm still new to Web3, I thought of trying the easiest ways possible to get the project done in less than a week. So I thought using Remix together with the App Inventor would make my work easier, but there's a lot of problems to it. Uh, for the App Inventor, there's not there's not really so much resources on it. And the last time I think it was developed was like two years ago. And so finding extensions is a bit hard or some of them are not working. Mm -hmm. um, also my other blocker I, is- Sorry, on that one, have you asked around? What are what are other people doing? How are other people solving this problem? Uh, yeah, I, I asked on Slack, um, but there's there's two ways to to take when building the DAP. So there's um, there's a starter code that has been given uh, to develop the Web three front end using Web three JS. But I am very new to front end, so mm -hmm. I thought the no code would be my easiest solution, but. Uh, apparently, not so many people are using it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but yeah. So, if it doesn't work, I'll just have to go back to the other one, the mm -hmm. starter code that has been given. Although I know it's going to be a bit challenging. Uh, the other problem that I have is um, funding my account, just like Jindrus. Uh, there's a link that was sent by Michael on how to get free accounts on Twitter, but apparently it's it's somehow not working. Um, so tell me what you guys mean by funding your account. Uh, so when you're trying to run, uh, so I'm trying to deploy and run transactions on uh, Remix using mm -hmm. MetaMask, but currently the funds in my account are like zero ethers. Mm -hmm. So I think the link Michael sent was, I don't know, maybe if you tweet about it, you get free accounts. Uh, that's, that's how it was supposed to work. And it's, I don't know if it's how I give the link, but it's not, it's, giving me some error, I uh, forgot the... But is it necessary to run real Ether, to buy real Ether? Like Ether is expensive. Um, no, not not real Ethers. It's just uh, just for for testing. Okay, not now. Do you have a solution here? I see you've put your hand up. Yeah. Do you want to have... come in here? Yes. Uh, I want like for the remix part. Yeah, issue uh, like connecting it with the like, with Git wouldn't be that necessary since Remix is only needed for like playing around with the smart contract and also like deploying the smart contract. So after you deployed the smart contract, you only need the ADI file and the the contract ID. So like after you got so you got that, you can just use the I'm not sure what you are using for the developing the smart contract side, like Truffle Brown or Hard Hat, but you can just copy paste it from the Remix side and build it in the Brown or the Truffle, whichever you, you are using. And after that, you can push all the codes to the side. And for the funding side, uh, for uh, like 
the tutor validation is just to, to for the scam part, like uh, so do, you don't scam like the requests. The authentication, the tutor part is for for authentication only. So you authorize the the funding app, and you are done. You don't have to think about like I've done it what, almost three or four times now, and I haven't like gotten any you know, like I don't have to think about it. I just Authorize the app. Uh, authorize the app in the Twitter page, and after that, it will open. Nightmare, would you be open to people DMing you or people asking you in the Slack group and tagging you, so that you can answer some of the questions uh, that people have? Yeah, I, 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 I would be happy. To hear. Okay. So Jane Rose, Margaret, I hope you took note. Uh, it seems like there's solutions to the problems that you're describing. Um. Yeah, I, he wasn't very audible, but I think I'll just DM him. Thanks. Yeah, or you know, maybe instead of DMing, ask in the in the week ten channel, because others will have the same question. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Okay, uh, Nanel, why don't you go ahead and just give us your update, please? Okay. Uh, am I audible enough? Very. Good. Now it's much better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I was working yesterday and the previous day. Uh, I was trying to work on the baiting up uh, on the on the share which was shared in the document in the challenge document, and I was trying to understand the whole concept and also the work the easy workarounds. I guess yes, that 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 would that would make like my week somehow a little easier. Uh, the better ways uh, and after that uh, yesterday i was trying to create the smart contract for the actual project project and hopefully i will be done with it by today and i'll start uh, like integrating the front into the mobile app and the react app yeah thank you great sounds interesting looking forward to seeing uh seeing the output um who wants to go next so let's go around the table, guys. We have another, uh, the, <laughs> the longer you guys talk, then the less hot seat I need to have, which is good. So who wants to go next? I'm just gonna call on people, then Neo Makiza, and then Patrick. Morning. Good morning. Yeah. And, uh, you're not you're not audible we can't hear what you're saying am i audible now now it's better yeah okay i was saying that yesterday i was mainly working on setting the environment and uh, uh, i was successful uh, and uh, i used the document for the uh, Web3 uh, setting environment. And uh, yeah, it was helpful because I managed to use hard hat to test and uh, deploy my first smart contract. I'm planning to continue today on the challenge. Yeah, that's it from my end. Okay. Yes. Do you have a do you have a clear sense of the direction? What's next? What has to be done? Uh, today I'm planning. Uh, okay, yesterday I also worked on the uh, interim submission, and uh, I'm almost done uh, mm -hmm. about the concept and uh, the PDF uh, report. Mm -hmm. uh, today I'm planning to start on working on the spot. Uh, I don't remember exactly the the but it's uh, about spot uh, con smart contract betting betting yes. So uh, this is what I will try to to play and finalize the the report. Okay, okay. We'll do Andanet and then Adija. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so yesterday I've been uh, trying to set up uh, my uh, 
environments for mobile application development, a flatter environment. So I changed uh, operating system to my operating system to Ubuntu. So in, in this operating system, like two weeks ago, actually, but so in this operating system, I haven't set up uh, Android Studio and Flutter and everything. So uh, due to bad internet connection, it took me a lot of time the, than it has to like to install uh, Android Studio and all, all of that. But I managed to install Android Studio and Flutter. And like I have also uh, run the template that we provided, uh, the Flutter template that we provided. And uh, I, I was like, uh, what um, seeing that and playing around with that and i also tried i also tried to uh write the smart contract for the project and i got stuck in and uh i just go back to like uh seeing the documentation on solidity so uh when i tried to actually write the smart contract so there there, there was like some concept that i didn't understand so I'm quite new to Solidity, so I had to like go back to see and read about Solidity. So I'm doing that. I am like posing, uh, writing the smart contract for now. But uh, today, like I will keep on like writing. Uh, I'll uh, try to finish the uh, smart writing the smart contract. So uh, and also like uh, I'll also start to write the interim submission uh, report. And this is my plan for today, and this is what I've been doing yesterday. Yeah. How's your, how's your comfort level with uh, smart contract writing? Are you starting to get a yeah, sense yeah. of what, why it's important, definitely, how to do definitely. it? Definitely. Uh, I, like, I, uh, it's been like uh, uh, two years uh, since I write it. Uh, uh, like I've tried uh, writing smart contract using Solidity uh, like two years ago, like out of uh, interest. So uh, I am glad that I'm back like uh, reading, like I, I haven't had any like core knowledge about any of that, but like this, uh, uh, this alg algorithm blockchain in this, uh, this project specifically, uh, I think, give me an opportunity to explore more and um, I'm confident that I will, at the end of the day, I'll pull it off. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Adi Chad? Hi. Hi. Um, good yesterday, morning. Um, good morning. Uh, yesterday was, uh, the early hours of yesterday, I uh, took out the reporting and, and tried to try to uh, answer and make a report on, on the task one and task two. So later I I tried to write the betting, the betting smart contract that was uh, on task two, but then I got a blocker because uh, some of the, some of the, some of the, like the faucet, the links provided on the on the tutorial was not working, and on Remix there was a way that we are supposed to run the contract, but uh, that way that is specified is the, it was not available on Remix. Then I checked the date the tutorial was posted. I realized that it was back in 2017, so it's probably kind of outdated or something. Uh, so I asked on this Slack, but I haven't gotten I haven't gotten the feedback yet. So then I move on to completing a completing a course on crypto zombies. So and then in the later hours of the day, I I just uh, created my CV because I haven't from week nine. So. So for, the, so, so for those of you who are struggling with outdated tutorials, um, what I would like you to do is to tag uh, to tag someone on the team. So Anastasia is the lead tutor. We have Everest, who's overall responsible. He's the operations manager for the the 
this batch. So you should tag us and say, look guys, this isn't working or this is out of date, let's find a solution. So we want you to find solutions to <clears throat> by yourselves, but I think it's important that you also let us know and you don't need to just struggle and say, this is out of date. We can work and the tutoring team can work to find a solution. <clears throat> So okay. it, it seems like there's a group of people who are struggling with the remix approach. Um, yeah. So I think you should tag, if that's not working, then ask around and let's find a different solution. I'd also like everyone to keep in mind that uh, the weekly challenge, the main point is to start getting exposed to Web3 and some of the hows, uh, some of the details around implementation are, yeah, these are just, uh, it's a simulation. It's not a real world work environment. So don't forget to spend time uh, on trying to understand that smart contract writing, the solidity, um, the actual meat of it, as opposed to worrying about the some of the infrastructure. So, so who wants to go next? Guys, we want to go around the room. Emtinan, go ahead, and then Michael, and then Patrick, yeah. and okay, go ahead. Good morning. Uh, yeah, so for as for what I was ha uh, have been doing, um, I I was uh, honestly I was um, I worked mostly on this zombie um, uh, game thing. So so I learned about solidity, uh, how to write a contract. I was understanding how the components. Um, uh, I'm still setting up uh, my brownie uh, um, environment, so I haven't finished working with that. I haven't like finished my first uh, project uh, working with brownie, so I, I, I'm not sure that. Um, so I still have to work out uh, the details of uh, deployment to uh, a test net and uh, and there. So that's what I'm working at right, uh, this morning, and uh, I have started on the report. Uh, on Tuesday, so I have done um, some of the writing there. So yeah, I, I know the my next steps to do, but um, yeah, I'm, I still have uh, a lot to do, <laughs> yes. Are you enjoying this week? Are you enjoying doing Web3? Yes, I am. I, okay. I'm always enjoying what I'm doing. I'm just always not able to finish on time or to do all the tasks or stuff, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying learning about it. You know, I want to give everyone a slightly different perspective. I've spent, I do spend quite, uh, I don't know if it's quite a lot. I spend some time every week talking to alumni. And I spoke to two alumni in the last 24 hours. And what I found very interesting is that they were both working, but they were both, uh, you know, they had good jobs. They were earning money. They were doing, they were satisfied, but they were also thinking about what's next. And so I want to encourage and remind everyone to, even if you don't take your first job in Web3, the fact that you know something about this um, should help you stay, either stay up to date, stay informed, stay interested, or to make the pathway to start working in a new field a little bit shorter. So let's not confuse um, the learning, or the, I, we say we're not teaching anyone anything, the exposure that we're trying to provide as part of this week and all the other weeks don't confuse that with um, the grades or um, you want to be on the leaderboard that is not as relevant as the fact that you guys are actually doing something and working in the area of web3 and in a couple of months or in a couple of years when you're thinking about what do you want to do next at least you're not, you should not be unfamiliar with some of the thinking behind how a smart contract works. How does deployment work? Why is it different than um, Web2? And so keep you, everyone should be keeping that in the back of their mind. And I know it couldn't be tiring. Maybe people are here focused on getting to the next step, the next deliverable. But even you guys are far enough along, even if you do horribly poorly uh, in terms of your grades, but you really understand what it is that you're doing and you've asked good questions, you will be further along if you spend more time thinking and learning as opposed to um, just mechanically or robotically chasing um, grades 
So I just want to encourage everyone to do that. We'll go for Michael and then Berhanu, and then Patrick. Patrick had his hand up as well. Hello. Hi, Michael. <clears throat> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, on what I've been trying to do. Uh, can you hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you well. OK. Uh, uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday, I've been trying to come up with a mental picture of the problem we are given. And uh, uh, yesterday, especially, I have uh, tried to set up hard hat following uh, Nardos's uh, tutorial. And then on the afternoon, I have tried to come up with some uh, logic of my own to tackle this uh, week's problem uh, and uh, attending the qu question and answer session uh, in the afternoon yesterday I have realized that uh, we can take even uh, uh, we can make the problem even more complicated if we are assuming uh, different things if we are like considering many employers and uh, we have been like brainstorming and the problem can even grow larger and larger uh, which uh, uh, couldn't be managed like within one week uh, so that in, on, at, at night I have been trying to uh, uh, come up with a simple logic that I can uh, do uh, uh, just in one week so <clears throat> I have managed to write some smart contract and uh, uh, deploy it on the uh, 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 or run it and test it on the remix and have uh, got some like uh, endpoints and I have tried to interact with it and it's pretty well and I'm thinking uh, for some uh, fixes and uh, uh, improvements on it on the logic and uh, one of my brokers was uh, deploying it on the Gorelli test network uh, like uh, want some gas fees and I was uh, like running out of my uh, pocket and my my wallet was just uh, like uh, shouting all the time when I tried to run some uh, transactions uh, through my uh, smart contract. And uh, next I'm trying to adapt myself with, or uh, I'm trying to go through the Flutter uh, app we are provided yesterday and uh, since we are having a tutorial session today about the Flutter uh, code and what uh, how it was written and what is it is supposed to do, and I'm waiting for that and I'm also reading about it. And uh, my blocker was uh, finding enough gorly eaters was one of my blockers and was preventing me uh, from. Like, uh, if you want to have more uh, Gorelli eaters, you may need to refund. And some websites might require a 24 hours gap uh, between each of the funds. So I'm just waiting. And uh, in that waiting session, I try to, I will try to work on the flat. Michael, I can't hear you. I don't know if anyone else can hear him. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, uh, where was I dropped? You're talking about how you're waiting for 24 hours in between uh, yeah, yeah. the Gorley. But I think it seems like other people have solved that issue or they're not facing that issue. So I would ask that you ask on Slack. Um, I yeah. think so. I have thought to ask about it on Slack, but I have considered myself, I have been trying a lot of transactions on the testnet. That was uh, why I was drained out of uh, my pocket. Mm -hmm. I would ask, I think Natnail, it seems like uh, Natnail Malese may have found a solution. Others may have found a solution as well. So let's post these questions. And as always, we're looking for people to uh, provide uh, solutions yeah. to others on the team. So do do post yeah. and let's get others to uh -huh. respond. And if you're stuck, remember, we have the tutoring team as well. And it's our job uh, to help solve those problems. 
Yeah, as as a as a solution, I have also found one site that funds for faucets, and I have shared it on the uh, on the resources channel. And I think Margaret have uh, liked it, and uh, she have reacted for it, and I think she have used it. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's the one I was saying it did not work on my side. But has anyone solved this problem? So yeah, yeah, I already talked to Natnell, so I think I'll solve it. Okay, so it seems like Natnell has solved this problem. So then, please ask. You can tag him on the Week Ten Slack group and see how he solved it. There may be others that have solved this. And so guys, this is the whole point. This is how it also works in the world of work. You face a challenge and it's not a competition, but you ask your colleagues and somebody says, actually, look, I've thought about it and this is how I solved it. So post and let's let's find different ways that we can solve it. You can involve the tutoring team as well. And together we can find a way to, to solve it. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Thank you. All right, Brahanam. Okay, hello. Hi, Brahanam. Uh, good morning. Uh, from my side to share what I uh, did uh, yesterday. Yesterday, uh, I was trying to set up the hard hats. Uh, after the tutorial, I just deployed it uh, properly. That was good. And also at the night, I tried to uh, enjoy the crypto zombie. That was also a nice uh, tutorial and also funny. Uh, and also after that, I try to uh, see the template that EDDR shared on the mobile app. Uh, and also at the today at the morning, I try to uh, read more about the mobile app that I have no more idea about that. So I try to browse about the Flutter. Uh, yeah, that's I think uh, at all it's good. Uh, I've also planned to work uh, to, uh, today i have planned to work on the interim and also more abroad about the mobile app after the tutorial uh, that was all my uh, progress in the my uh, broker i think there is my machine is a little bit uh, busy to uh, run the whole uh, setups that was uh, my pro my pro broker uh, yeah thank you Who else wants to go, guys? I think let's go for another six minutes, then we can do our uh, hot seat session. So is there anyone here who's finding this uh, this week horrible? They just don't care, not interested in Web3. Uh, anyone who finds it really confusing? Patrick, go ahead. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I mean, I don't think uh, this week is, kind of, uh, is challenging as the the previous one but uh, i was about to, to talk about um my about my update please go ahead yes um yeah uh, uh in these two days i was trying to to understand it because the last time because i'm new to web3 the last time and I, uh, I was not getting it well so this week um I, I tried to go deep into Web3 to learn more thing about it. So yesterday, um, I managed to install everything needed from uh, to work on Remix, uh, set up the uh, MetaMask, yeah, and everything. So I managed even to to do some transact uh, the first transaction and it worked well. So um, probably today I'll finish up with uh, my interim submission. Yeah. So uh, the broker I had still I have uh, still have the internet issue, uh, but probably today the uh, the my internet provider will change my router. They say that it is the problem of my router. Yeah. And also I have another question to ask uh, to to people who. Who use this? Uh, who use and uh, like React Native and especially like Andinet, uh, which 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 lightweight Android emulator that you use, so that I can install it before we start on React Native. I 
I am using uh, the Pixel 5 emulator. So uh, you can install a anything actually. My, uh, there, there are. Uh, come again? Uh, I was saying Android is super heavy and make the computer go kind of slow. So I was, uh, oh, I was yeah. thinking if. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, for you that. Pixel? Yeah, Pixel devices are, I think, yeah, lightweight. Pixel 5 is lightweight. Uh, yeah, but like again, uh, the computer like performance c could be an issue, like running Android. Uh, so try to maybe try to uh, use, uh, uh, I mean, uh, VS Code to run that. Uh, either way, so you VS have to code, use, yeah, I use VS Code actually. VS Code does have um, an emulator, an Android um, emulator. Uh, no, like you have to install uh, Android Studio and, and install the emulator as well and mm -hmm. just shut down the emulator and uh, open up your project in, uh, your project in uh, VS Code. And there are two extensions you have to download, the Flutter and Dash yeah. extensions. And after you download that, like at the bottom of the, uh, at the bottom of the IDE, you'll see uh, the emulators that you have. So like you can click on that and uh, there are uh, tutorials or like websites that could show you uh, the steps, but these are generally the steps. So you can select the uninstalled uh, uh, emulators. So like you can run it so that you don't have to run uh, Android Studio and uh, the emulator. It's, it will be like a, a lot of over, overload on your RAM, so uh, just that like uh, emulator will be like launched by Android Studio, but Android Studio won't be, and uh, you won't be using Android Studio to write or run your project. So it might like, uh, yeah, help you. Okay, thanks. If you have, if you want to add something, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I just want to add like uh, another solution for. Matrix, uh, another solution like on top of what Internet had mentioned, uh, you can just use your phone as an, uh, you can debug on your phone. Like, I think that's better if you have a low performance machine. Debugging on your phone in, in, your, in your phone is like way better. Uh, running an emulator, I, I don't think uh, it will be productive. Like, I know my laptop will stop working once I run it. An emulator. So I, I just use my actual phone connected using USB, and after that, like uh, this code will let you choose like uh, from the devices. It will list you the devices, the connected devices, and the, the emulator ones. So all you have to do is go to your Android settings and developer options, and enable USB debugging. And after that, you can debug on it. Okay. Yeah, I All think right. that's a better option, I guess. Yeah, I forgot to mention that because like I don't have Android phone. So if you have Android phone, like debugging through USB is like the best option you have. Yeah. Thank you, Nathan, for that. Yeah, we'll check out on YouTube. Yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, well, and uh, just today. So this week's project, I'm really excited. Uh, I, I, ha I, I was curious because I didn't see any Web3 chosen as a track from Batch 6, and yet we are doing Web3. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that this is not good for us, but I'm just curious. Uh, that, that being said, I'm really, uh, I'm really doing something. I'm really doing uh, great this week. At least I hope, and I created this environment, uh, and I was uh, I was designing and implementing the smart contract yesterday. I was able to deploy it on a local environment, on a local blockchain environment, and the problem that was mentioned previously was not uh, an issue. At least when developing on local environments, I don't know how 
I don't know which which uh, network. I think it was Mikhail was using, but uh, maybe using the local uh, blockchain environment would solve that problem. And I was trying to access the. I was trying to communicate with this uh, smart contract using a web interface, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's going really great. And I'm planning to submit this interim submission today on time. And I just want to add something. That there was this uh, thing Yababad was uh, was trying to mitigate, and we developed a kind of this uh, Google Forms that would be really helpful to at least propose some ideas based on the opinions and uh, thoughts trainees have. And I really appreciate it if everybody at least tried to answer some of the questions. And please check that form. It has been posted on week 10's uh, group channel. So yeah, please kindly fill that form. And I hope everybody to have a great uh, day. Yeah, that's all. Thanks. Thanks. So just two quick responses. Uh, it's true, right now we have no people who have chosen Web3. Um, we are pretty convinced that some people will change. So that's why we want, uh, we said we would provide Web3 trainings. So that's why we're providing it. I think we plan even a third Web3 challenge. Um, the second point, just following up on uh, what Fish said, we have advertised uh, 10 Academy as a community owned initiative and we mean it. Uh, this is not my thing. It's not Yevabel's thing. It's not the team's thing. At the end, it's really the alumni's thing or the members of the community. And so if there are things, many of the things that you see today are, have been implemented in response to suggestions, excuse me, from community members. So there is an opportunity for everyone to have a meaningful contribution to what comes next. And we're pretty optimistic that in the future, um, the programs that we will be offering in two to three years will be pretty significantly different than the program that we're offering now because of the input uh, and the ideas from each of you, not only as trainees, but also once you get into the world of work. So our the dream is really, we're not trying to solve the problem at small scale. We're trying to solve the problem of how can we create this pipeline so that any high potential person can, can get a high quality job. So that's that's sort of the dream. We have no doubt that we haven't solved it in the best possible way. So uh, initiatives like this are useful. And I guess the only, the only additional point that I can make is it's not going to end up dead in a report somewhere. We are serious about implementing uh, changes which are meaningful. So with that, I'm going to ask the team if there's any announcements, and then we'll go into the hot seat. Uh, the announcement, I think you've also shared it on, on Slack. Uh, the guest talk that, that has been uh, scheduled today, we, we rescheduled it, so we're going to communicate. Okay, so the guest talk, today's guest talk, talk is uh, rescheduled due to uh, guest speaker unavailability. <clears throat> Anyone else? Any other announcements? So we're going to have a Q&A session just after the hot seat. Uh, yeah, so just stay on the call. So. Uh, Haley, Haley, Michael. Okay. Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, I joined late and uh, can I ask any question for uh, my teammates the, in the classroom? Uh, yeah. You uh, can. Yeah. Question. But I mean, just, but just uh, and the, this is why it's difficult when you join late. So at the start, there were only ten people. So yeah, we're now it's running late, but. Go ahead. It's it's important to be on time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Uh, and just let me ask the question, and we'll discuss that uh, on Slack. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. The question is, uh, I wanted to connect. Uh, I, I created the smart contract and I deployed uh, on the localhost. So after that, I want to. Uh, access that uh, that smart contract on the mobile data mask app and uh, I 
got a broker on that. So uh, is there anyone who has faced that problem? And if you have any solution. Did everyone hear the question? Uh, I didn't hear it correctly. Okay, uh, <clears throat> the question is, I created smart contract and I deployed it on localhost. So I wanted to access that uh, from my mobile. And uh, is there a way, uh, a way to connect uh, my mobile to local, the localhost network? Uh, okay. Uh, what are you using, like from the brownie truffle and uh, the, the hard hat? Hard hat. Uh, I use hard hat. Uh, okay, for the hard hat. Uh, I'm not really sure how, but uh, if, if it was if it was tra travel, I would have helped you. I already managed that. But on the just to give you a rough idea, uh, I think you are you deployed it on Gnash, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just you just have to figure out a way to get the ABI file. You just need the ABI file, and also for the address, you have since you have the local host. You, you just put local the local host I think if it's Ganache it's run it's running on 7545 so you try to just get the ABI file first from the after you deploy it you will get an ABI file uh, and you just put that ABI file on the flutter part and you can access the, that using that ABI file okay okay thank you. Great. Okay. Uh, so let's stop recording and then I'm waiting for your questions on the hot seat.